Today I'm totally excited. I just got my most recent order from ButcherBox. I've been ordering from ButcherBox for a while now, but this is the most recent one. Let's update and see what's in there. If you're not familiar with ButcherBox, they're a meat delivery service that ships meat directly to your door. They have a subscription service, so every month you can pick out different stuff. You don't have to order every month. You can skip months if you want to, or you can make it come sooner if you want. But it's about $159, and you get to pick six different meat varieties. Plus, you can add on extra stuff. So for the $169, you get to pick six different meat types. So like, it's a lot of times, like if you pick ribeyes, it'll come with two ribeyes. Let's take a look at the box and see what we got. First off, we got ribeyes. Ribeye staves from Butcher Box. Now, they are running uh, promotions quite frequently. There's an affiliate link in the description in this video for $50 off your first box. And they have different sign-up promotions. So when I signed up, I got free ribeyes for a year. So I got four ribeyes. Next out of the box is my favorite cut, our filet mignons. This box, I had six filet mignons. As you can see. Additionally, besides just steaks, they have other products. We got Butcher Box burgers. So I don't really typically like frozen burgers, but theirs are absolutely delicious. So we'll cook some of those up later. Then they also got raw golf shrimp. And after you pick your six different orders, you can start out at adding on extras. You can't see that when you first go to the ButcherBox website, but ButcherBox has other products like pre-cooked stuff, chicken, uh, so like I said, shrimp, I think we got, oh, yep. My wife loves these. This is a pre-cooked shrimp cocktail. Comes with a sauce. Just let, let them thaw out. And they're good to go if you got a party coming up. Looks like we got some more ribeyes. I ordered a whole bunch of ribeyes and a whole bunch of fillets because we are having some people come over. Uh, and I do like to give them away as gifts. We've got plenty of fillets and ribeyes, but they do offer chicken, pork. I just tend to really like their steaks, so I end up ordering a lot of steaks. Then they also have this guy. This is grass-fed sirloin tips. We're going to put these on the Blackstone griddle, mix some Philly cheesesteaks out of them. Then another favorite, when my nieces come over, they have chicken breast strips. So th these are breaded natural organic chicken strips that are way better than the ones you find in the grocery store. So I think they're having a buy one, get one free sale. So I end up getting three bags of boneless chicken strips. So this is what you can expect when you order from ButcherBox. I think this box cost me a little more, this box did cost me a little more than the standard box of the $159 uh, because I did add a couple of little bonus items, they have stuff that are on sale, so I ended up throwing in a couple of those. I'm not sure exactly how much this one cost me, but overall the quality of the food is great, the shipping is fast, like you can see everything comes totally frozen, and it's a good way to stock up on food. Alright, so let's go ahead and get in the kitchen and cook some of this stuff up. First thing we're going to make is some Philly cheesesteaks. So let's go ahead and get our onions going before we get these steak tips on the griddle. So we can put a stick of butter down. We're going to get these onions on the griddle. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to let these render a little bit. We want to get them a nice, clear color to them. So put the butter down, stir them up, keep on stirring. So these are our steak tips. These are Butcher Box premium steak tips. Let's get them in with our onions. There we go. We mix them up a bit. I think that's an absolutely de delicious. They're all stirred up. So I think the next thing we're gonna need is some cheese. So what kind of cheese would we use? Uh, let's go with some. Cavati? Cavati on a cheesesteak? Yeah, why not? Get the cheese on there. Some more cheese. Yeah, I like these little wax shakers between the cheese. They get pretty annoying, but they do keep the cheese slices separated, so I'm going to keep using the cheese from the store. 
So after this gets going, we're gonna just leave the cheese on there for a couple minutes, and our cheesesteak should be good to go. Nice and melted, let's get on the bun. Yeah, I like that. it's gonna be delicious. Put a little more pieces of steak in that cheesesteak. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a try. As you can tell, it looks absolutely delicious. I said it's a win. Next, we got these ribeyes. We got them seasoned. We're going to go for a reverse sear here. So we're going to go ahead and put them on the Traeger pellet grill. We're going to leave them on there for about 20, 25 minutes and let them get some smoke flavor. Meantime, let's work on some burgers. We got our Butcher Box burgers on the griddle. Make some cheeseburgers out of those too. So let's put the cheese on there. There's a whole lot of cheese in this video. We're going with some cheddar at this point. Same problem with the wax paper. But cheese is getting on. Let's go for another little layer here. And I think these are looking pretty good too. Yep. Go ahead. Try these bad boys out. Uh, maybe. Gotta go for a little more cheese. Why not? Just gonna let that melt down. See if we can get these burgers going. And our ribeyes are out of the smoker, so we're gonna mm -hmm. have to get them flipped. That's a play, that's a crowd cow, that's not for this video. Again. So let's go ahead and get the ribeyes flipped. Hold on, it might not be done yet. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna flip those over these ribeyes, get a nice little sear on them. That's looking delicious. Flip this other guy over. And yeah, let's just uh, keep on cooking. We all have a lot of stuff going on. Ribeyes are, it looks like they are seared to a little medium, coming off the griddle, and let's go ahead and give them a try. So, nice and juicy, let's give it a little slice and try it out, yeah, looks good, I'm happy with that. There we go, it's ribeye, so there's nice juicy, a little bit of fat in there, medium. That's the brown sugar one, that's a good one. 